hey guys welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new make sure to hit the like and subscribe button so in today's video i'm doing a spring nail design so i'm starting with applying my nail tips on the pinky nail i am applying a stiletto nail tip but on the rest of the nails i'm going to be using xxl ballerina nail tip that i got from aliexpress and i'm going to be cutting them down as well i did already prep my nails and applied my peel off base coat off a camera if you'd like to see how i did all of that i would link to a video in the cards so i'm using my melody suzy uv led nail lamp to apply my nail tips and i'm applying them using some gel base coat so i just cure them in the melody suzy nail lamp for about five to ten seconds but when i'm finished with all of the nails i will be curing them for 30 seconds so the nail inspiration for this nail design is this picture i saw on instagram so i'd leave the picture right here this nail design is so gorgeous i really love encapsulating flowers so i was so excited to recreate this nail design you'd let me know what you guys think about it and i will be sharing a little bit of tips and tricks on how i do my nails as usual and just showing you guys how to do the nails it was not difficult at all to do so the middle nail always gives me trouble because my middle nail is a bit bent so i have to put on the nail tip bend in order for it to look straight so sometimes i get a lot of issues to do that that's why i removed the middle nail and you see it on the table right there i will be applying it to my nail off camera because it was a bit difficult for me to apply it on camera so after curing it in my bigger nail lamp for 30 seconds i'm just going to be cutting them down to the length of the pinky nail because the pinky nail is an xxl nail tip as well but the coffin nails are still longer than the pinky nail so i was just cutting them down to the length of the pinky nail and now i'm just filing the surface of the nails to remove the shine Next, I'm going to be applying my gel base coat to all of the nails and then curing for 30 seconds. Now I am using rubbing alcohol as my sip solution and I'm using my Aciester Poly Gel which you see in the screen right there. I've been using this Aciester Poly Gel for so long and I highly recommend that you get this Poly Gel Squeezer. I got mine from Amazon and it has been a lifesaver. I have been able to get all of the poly gel out of my tubes so I don't have to waste it or anything like that or I don't even have to cut the poly gel tube in order to get the poly gel this gives me all of the poly gel that's inside of the tube and I really love it so as I said before I have been using this ACS poly gel for quite some time so on the pinky nail I applied a bead of the ACS poly gel and I'm just distributing it to the tip 
of the nail so this nail is a stiletto nail so stiletto nails are really easy to do really easy to shape so i'm just applying the poly gel to the whole nail and when i'm satisfied with the application i would turn my finger over and just clean the sides of the nails so that the poly gel is well shaped to the nail so i'm just cleaning the sides of the nails right there and then i go on the surface of the nail to get a very smooth surface by passing the poly gel brush along the surface of the nail just to get that smooth surface and bringing the poly gel to the tip area so that the excess poly gel would be eventually removed and i'm just going to be doing that just making sure that the surface of the nail is smooth so you just go over the nail with the poly gel brush and look at the nail form either side just to see how it looks you know you could just tell if a if the poly gel is bumpy by how it looks so you just go over the nail with the brush you know just to get that smooth surface and yeah when you're satisfied with how it looks you would cure it for 30 seconds now i'm going in with a second bead of the poly gel so i did have some poly gel that i removed from the first layer so that's what i put on first and then i placed another bead just because that bead was too small that wouldn't be able to give me the apex that i want so i had to add another bead so because i added two different beads of the same poly gel i have to pat those beads together to make them whole before i could actually use it so you need to pat those beads together to make them a whole poly gel a whole bead of poly gel and when they blend well together then you could be able to uh, make sure that they are applied nicely around the critical area and then you blend the poly gel into the tip area making sure to leave a bulk of the poly gel at the apex so that you could get a proper apex because you know the apex how it has to be a bit thick and then and then it goes into the nail to get a nice nice flow i guess you would call it so from thick into thin i don't know how else to explain it but i remembered i was discussing with you guys um not removing the poly gel too fast from the nail and as you can see i made sure to blend the poly gel into the nail straight to the tip of the nail and then remove the poly gel at the end i didn't remove it too fast so i guess it worked because i didn't have a problem it worked a lot better than i did the last time i don't know if you all remember that one i don't even remember which video i spoke about it on so i can't really tag that video unfortunately but uh, yes it works so this is the best way to do it just make sure to blend the poly gel straight to the tip of the nail and whatever excess is removed at the tip don't remove it too soon from the nail so i cured that for 30 seconds and now i'm going in with a bead of the acsa poly gel on the ring nail i'm going to be doing a french nail so i'm doing the french smile line here so usually i would do a thick bead for the french smile line however i've learned not to do that so i would go in with a somewhat small bead it's a medium to small bead of the poly gel and form it into my smile line and Forming a smile line can be difficult, I'm not going to lie, I was having a bit of an issue forming this. So usually I rely on filing but I want to be able to have a proper smile line without relying on filing. Although you have to still file it but I just want my smile line to be nice and smooth around yeah, the smile line without me thinking okay if i file this then it would look much better i want it to look better from the start and i think i'm getting there so yes i'm just forming the smile line and then i would cure that for 30 seconds So this is how it looks from the side 
and now I'm going to be doing the same thing on the index nail I do have to go back in to apply another bead to the ring nail because the ring nail is a bit thin and I need a thicker ring nail in order to file around it properly and it just needs a and it just needs another layer and I'm not sure if I showed that one or if I just showed myself doing the one layer but I did do two layers on each nail so that the smile line would be a lot thicker. So I cured that for 30 seconds and this is how the nails are looking so far. Now I just showed a side view of the nails just to see how the nails are looking. So now I'm going in with my second bead on the ring nail and always make sure to blend in the second bead into the first bead when you go around the smile line area right there you know make sure to blend it in And then I cured for 30 seconds. I did the second layer on the index nail off camera and I did my thumbnail off camera because it was very repetitive and I know you all don't want to see all of that. So now I'm just using rubbing alcohol to remove the tacky layer from all of the French nails because I'm going to be filing the French nails. So I'm using my hand file to file the French nails just to get that crisp smile line. So I go around the smile line and I also go on the surface of the nail as well because we want that smooth surface and we want the nail to look like a nail so around the cuticle area i need to file because around that area is a bit bulky so it needs to look like a regular nail when i'm finished however you don't really need to do all of that right now all you need to do is get the smile line to be very neat and crisp and then you would deal with the rest of the nail like the nail bed area and all of that when you're finished with the whole nail because you would get a better understanding and see how the nail looks in its entirety instead of watching just half of the nail sometimes you can you know make mistakes like that but when you're seeing the whole nail then you know okay this is how it's supposed to look i hope i'm making sense so yes now i'm going to be using some dried flowers i got these from Amazon so I'm going to be using a few different colors so I'm just going to be picking them out and I just placed them on my finger just to see if they would fit nicely because I was looking for the smallest one in the group all of them aren't really big so I was just measuring just to see how they look on my nails and if they looked too big I would go for the smallest one. So yes I'm just going to be picking them out and all of these flowers are really pretty. I really love the colors that I got and I'm also going to be using these mini flowers. I'm just going to be separating them so I cut most of them with my scissors because I didn't need all of that. So I separated some of them and I'm going to be using a lot of the colors that I got and just like the larger dried flowers these flowers are really pretty i love the colors that i got so for each nail i think i did about three of the large flowers and just a bit of the smaller ones so i'm just going to place them into different sections so i know which flowers is going on which nail 
and i'm just going to be using some of the leaves from this kit that i got from a card i'm just only going to be using the leaves because those flowers are huge in that mccart kit and i didn't want to use those flowers because they were so huge So on the ring nail, I am just applying some of the gel base coat to the nail, to the whole, to the whole tip of the nail. And that was a mistake. I should not have done it like that. It has been a while since I've actually used dried flowers. So I didn't remember that you need to cure dried flowers individually. You cannot really cure them all together. So I was trying to cure them using my mini LED lamp, but that really wasn't making much sense, you know. Um the lamp, I think the battery in the lamp needs to change, but it still wasn't making much sense to do because I applied the gel base coat to the whole nail, which I should not have done. So I decided to bring in my Melody Susie nail lamp. So I just placed a large dot of gel base coat where I want the flowers to be. And then I placed the flower on the gel base coat. And now I'm using my Melody Susie nail lamp to cure that flower where it is at. And I am using my tweezer just to flatten the flower because the flower was a bit difficult to flatten because if I flatten one petal the other petal would be sticking out so I had to be continually going over each petal to make sure each of them stuck down while it is curing and it worked I would say it worked it's just very time consuming and I really wasn't expecting all of this I thought it was going to be easy peasy but I was so wrong So anyway, on the ring nail again, I did apply some more of the gel base coat and then I am placing a flower and then doing the same thing going over the nail with my tweezers so that it would cure and flatten on the nail. It wouldn't cure with one poking out and then the other one is stuck down. I wanted all the, I wanted the whole flower to be stuck down. So I'm just going to be doing that. It was, some of them were very difficult to stick down. I don't know why it was taking so long to cure down. But eventually it worked. It was just a lot. It was just a lot. So I really didn't need to flatten the leaf with the tweezer. It flattened on its own and it was fine. I didn't have to do much. And when I was finished with that, I would cure the nail for 30 seconds. And then on to the index nail, I'm going to be doing the same thing. And you also have to be very careful when you are pushing down the flower because these flowers are very delicate. You don't want it to rip. One of them almost ripped because I was being a tad bit aggressive. So make sure not to be too aggressive with the flower. Just gently apply the tweezer to the flower to make sure that it's stuck down while it is being cured. And that should be good good but you know sometimes you are not thinking when you're doing your nails and then you rip your flower that could happen and this part is very tedious too so i could understand if you'll get very frustrated while doing this because i was kind of getting frustrated so that could be understandable as well but just keep in mind that these flowers are very delicate so don't be too rough with it
So in the picture, I saw that the nail artist also placed some butterflies on the nails. So that's what I'm going to be doing. So I just placed a small bead of the gel base coat and then I'm placing one of my butterflies on the nail, one of the gold butterflies on the nail and some of these butterflies did not stick down as i would have liked it to and i didn't want to use the method where i have the silicone stamper over the mini nail lamp because i would have definitely ripped one of my flowers if i had done that and using the tweezers to hold down the butterflies was very difficult to do it really wasn't working with the butterflies as best as i wanted it to and I also was getting fed up too so that could be another reason why it wasn't sticking down I was being very impatient so yeah um, the butterflies weren't stuck down as good as the flowers were but that wasn't a problem when I encapsulated and then filed the nails so I just thought I'd mention that and on the middle nail I am applying the dried flowers to the whole nail because I really didn't feel like doing another French nail. That's why this whole nail is just dried flowers. And also, I just wanted to see all of the dried flowers on one of the nails. I didn't want it to be a French nail as well. So it's a bit of the two. I was kind of lazy and I was really curious to see how it would look on the whole nail. <laughs> So I did the thumbnail off camera because I really didn't want y'all to be watching me do the same thing over and over and I really didn't want to be recording myself doing the thumbnail because I was stressed. I was so stressed and I did apply um, the butterflies off camera it seems. So yeah, now I am applying my gel base coat to all of the dried flowers because i want the dried flowers to stay sealed in because when i encapsulate the nails the dried flowers could move if i don't apply the gel base coat so that it would stay stuck down so i cured that for 30 seconds and as usual when i'm encapsulating nails i like to clean everything so i have some new slip solution in my dampen dish and i did clean my poly gel brush and i also placed down another paper towel and you know stuff like that so i am using my mccart clear poly gel so i just placed a bead of the clear poly gel on the middle nail and i'm just going to be evenly distributing that on the middle nail and I think I only showed myself encapsulating the middle nail or I could have shown myself encapsulating one of the French nails as well. I'm not too sure, but I'm only showing myself encapsulating one or two nails. So yes, I'm just evenly distributing the poly gel and then I flip my finger over just to see how neatly it is applied and making sure to clean the excess poly gel on the sides of the nails and then I made sure that the surface of the nail was smooth or as smooth as possible so yeah i'm just doing that and this nail design as i said before really easy to do but very time consuming very tedious that's the only thing i didn't like it was very tedious but i loved how it came out so in the end it was worth it i really love it but it was a lot of work <laughs> So I cured the middle nail for 30 seconds and now I'm going in with another layer to build the apex of the nail. And usually I would remove some of the poly gel right here but I learned not to do that that's what I was talking about when I was doing the pinky nail I learned not to do that I just make sure to bring the poly gel down the whole nail and then remove it because I have been removing the poly gel very prematurely so then the nail doesn't turn out that good and then I have to apply another layer of poly gel in order to fix what I should not have even needed to fix if I had just left the poly gel on the nail. 
So yeah, I cured that for 30 seconds. And now I'm showing myself encapsulating my ring nail. So I just placed a bead of the poly gel that I removed from the middle nail. So I placed that on the ring nail and I'm just distributing the poly gel on this nail. So if I had not applied my gel base coat to the top of all of those flowers, those flowers would have teared because those flowers are very delicate. The base coat is protecting these flowers while I encapsulate the nails. So I thought I would mention that. And also I intentionally wanted the blue flower on the ring nail right there to be kind of off of the nail because I only really wanted half of the flower on the nail. Um, so yeah, I just thought I'd mention that. So that would be removed while filing. So I cured that for 30 seconds and I did another layer of that on the ring nail off camera. So this is how all of the nails are looking. Now I'm just going to be applying my rubbing alcohol to remove the tacky layer from all of the nails. And then I filed the nails off camera. So this is after filing of the nails and I think they look so good. Let me know what you guys think about my filing because you know I still have issues with filing. So let me know if I what I need to work on because I really don't know what it is I don't like but I know I don't like something about the filing. <laughs> so let me know if you'll see it or what it is I need to work on. So anyway, moving on, I am going to be using some rhinestones on the nail. So I just apply a layer of my gel top coat to the index nail and then I cured for 30 seconds. I wanted to do the rhinestone application on the index nail first to make sure that it looked good. Although it looked good on my nail inspo, I still wanted to make sure that it would look good on my nail. So I'm applying my McCart rhinestone glue to the smile line of the index nail and i'm going to be applying some of my rhinestones to the nail So I cured that for 30 seconds and this is how the nail is looking and I think it looks so good. So I did the rest of the nails off camera because I didn't want to bore you guys with another rhinestone application. And this video is already 33 minutes long so you know why should I do that to you guys? 
so i got these 3d butterflies on amazon so i'm just going to be finding those two butterflies that the nail inspo had on her nails i think i had the same exact one so i was so excited about that so on the pinky nail i applied some of my macart rhinestone glue and then on top of that i placed my gel top coat and then i would be applying the rhinestones all over the pinky nail and then i placed the 3d butterflies and when i was satisfied with the placement i cured for 30 seconds so this is how the nails are looking everything looks so good now last but not least i'm going to be top coating the middle nail and curing that for 30 seconds Now I'm going in with some gel top coat on the underside of the clear nails and curing that for 30 seconds. So this is how it looks. Now I'm going in with my cuticle oil to rehydrate my skin and nails. So this is my encapsulated flower nail design with some 3D butterflies and I think this nail design turned out so good. Oh my goodness, I love everything about this nail design. Although applying the dried flowers were a bit tedious, I really loved how this nail design turned out. It looks so good. Let me know what you guys think about this spring polygel nail design. Let me know if y'all would be doing this spring polygel nail design as well because I highly recommend it. Although it's a bit tedious i highly recommend it because it looks so good oh my goodness let me know what you guys think thanks for watching and don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i'll see you in my next one bye guys